Greg, good afternoon. Just want to start by getting some reaction to last night's dramatic performance from Emma Hayes' side to get them into the Champions League semi-final. What do you make of it? That was amazing. Um, obviously, huge congratulations to Emma and everybody involved. Um, it just sums up the craziness of football, doesn't it? It's just uh, why you love it. it. Obviously, for Chelsea, we love it. For the opponent, it's it's the opposite. But um, yeah, huge, huge um, night for the girls. Huge night for Emma. So I'm delighted for them. Have you ever seen a 128th minute penalty? Wow. <laughs> uh, no. Um, but um, again, that's that's football, and it seems to be the Champions League throws up those type of moments as well. So. Um, but delighted that it went their way and um, it was a very uh, entertaining evening. Absolutely. Uh, now onto your team. It had a lot, quite a lot of injuries going into the international break. Can you give us an update on where we're at? <clears throat> um, well, Thiago and Aspie are still away. Um, Raheem's coming back. He'll miss the game. I think he's got more chance for, for, for Tuesday. Uh, he was close. Um, Mason is trained and he's uh, available. Probably not from the start, but in the squad. Um, Wesley is going to miss the game because um, his hamstring still is a little bit tight. I think there's a chance for a Tuesday with him. Uh, Christian Pulisic is the only one really who's had a heavy cold returning from international duty. So he's the one we've just got to check on. Um, apart from that, I think that's about it. Uh, Kai Havertz, Reese James, I know they left their international teams early. How's their fitness? Kai was fever, um, but he's recovered now, so he's trained the last couple of games, the day, sorry, and, um, and Reese as well. Reese has, Reese has had the last two training sessions with us, so providing there's no reaction, he should be available for tomorrow as well. Was the international break a good or a bad time for you? We've obviously given you more time with the players who were injured beforehand to come back. Well, it's. It, I wouldn't say it's either good or bad. They, they are what they are. There's nothing you can do about it. you just got to take them for what they what they are and use them as positively as we can. Um, we've had a bit of time in Golo, for example, has had some time on the pitch and a bit more game time, so that's been good for him. Uh, we had a handful of players, not even, at, at Cobham in the first week, so they were more working individually. And then um, you know, the rest of us are sort of reflecting and analysing how can we improve and looking forward to this game of the weekend. The game of the weekend's first of six in the next 18 days. Looking forward to it? Of course, yeah. Really exciting. Um, it's going to be an exciting month, but uh, I think the, the focus for us is to stay present, to think about the next game. It's a, it's a very tough game against Aston Villa, but we're at home. We want to respond to the disappointment that we had against Everton and um, in terms of dropping points. So we're looking forward to that. So Aston Villa up next. Unai Emery yesterday described you as amazing. I just okay. <laughs> just wanted to get. I paid him a lot of money in the transfer. <laughs> How would you describe Unai Emery and the job he's doing at Aston Villa? He's done a fantastic job, um, and he's had a fantastic career. Someone I've always looked up to. Um, his his career, especially in, in the Europa League, has been outstanding. But also in every in every club he's been at, he's he's I think he's influenced the teams and the players. Um, so I'm really looking forward to seeing him. We met only once in uh, in that sort of um, pre World Cup, post World Cup break. We had a game there, so um, it'd be nice to see him again. But he's a top top coach. And finally, for me, what's the latest situation on Anthony Barry? Well, uh, Anthony's uh, in discussions at the moment. Clubs are in discussions around around his situation. So he's um, he's not with us at the moment. I think it's the best thing. Uh, well, that's getting resolved, but um, at the moment there's nothing to report. It's just between the, the, between the two clubs. How long do you expect that to continue for? Because I can imagine it's a bit causing a little bit of disruption, maybe. Yeah, I, I don't know. I have no idea. It's, like I said it's between the clubs. It's not something that I'm involved in. Um, obviously, you know, I have a huge respect for Anthony and, and what he's done here. Um, fantastic coach, fantastic person. Uh, but these things happen in life in football. We've got a, you know, a really, really good staff here that, that can that can fill in and, and fill the gap if you like. Whilst you know, there's, I always say there's not a direct replacement for anybody, but the collective can can solve the problem. Thanks, Rob. Becky.
Hi, Hi. Um, I just wondered, what would you like to see or what do you need to see from your side for the rest of this Premier League season? Well, it sounds simple, but improvement, always. We always want to improve. Um, I think uh, we've made some steps and uh, we need to carry on with that. It's as simple as that. Attack better, um, defend better, create more chances, concede less chances. It sounds simple, but that's ultimately what we need to do. The guys that have come back from international duty, do you feel that they are okay to play? They're fatigued? How are they feeling, those guys? No, they're feeling good. I mean, um, they're professional, they're, they're experienced, they know they can deal with the uh, demands of international football and Premier League football. We've recovered well, they've recovered well. It's a testament to their professionalism and also the staff here in terms of how they help them do that. But no, everybody's keen, everybody's you know, looking forward to seeing each other and there's a nice spirit in the team, a nice spirit in the group. So no, we're all looking forward to the weekend and what's ahead. John South for Five Live. Hi Graham. Hi. Just on the, the final 11 games of the season, is, is sixth place a kind of a minimum? Because I'm presuming the Europa Conference League isn't really on the, the club's radar, is it? the next season? Well, f for us, we, we have to think that our goal is to focus on the next match and to try and win the game, and to win the game. You know, we're, we're, we're Chelsea, we want to win. Um, regardless of the league positioning 11 games time, we have to focus on the next game and try and try and win. We want to try and beat Aston Villa, and then we go to play Liverpool, we try and win that, and then we play Bulls, and we try and win that, and the consequences of that are what they are. Uh, we just need to, we just need to play to win. You mentioned Mason Mounts back in in the squad, I think he said that this season has been tough for him. Mm -hmm. What's his What's his state of mind like? I, I suppose you can understand if his mind was possibly elsewhere at the moment. Well, I think it's been tough for him because he's had uh, some niggling injuries and uh, you know noise and speculation off the pitch. But he's a professional and he's a top professional and he's a fantastic lad. So how he's acted with me, how he's acted with the team, how he's acted around us has been absolutely top. And I think that's credit to him because um, sometimes in your career, you, you know, things are difficult. They're not quite optimal that you that you like them to be, and then you have to act well and conduct yourself in a good way. And that's exactly what he's done. And just one on Ingolo, is he? Do you think he's ready to start again yet? I mean, it's. I mean, and and if he if he is involved, I mean, how big a plus is that for you? It's incredible to think he hasn't actually played a minute for you. Oh yet. yeah, yeah. Um, well, we have to manage that as the next stage for us in terms of uh, because he's been out for so long um, the minutes and building those minutes up in the Premier League so but he's he's been training well and he's had some behind closed doors time and um, he's available in the squad and he'll, I'm pretty sure he'll be um, on the pitch at some point tomorrow and just a final one on Anthony Barry have you have you spoken to him and tried to persuade him to stay or have you just kind of left him to his own devices well I've, of course I've spoken to Anthony um, I'd like the conversation to be private. As I said, um, he's uh, someone I respect a lot. He's uh, he's given everything for Chelsea. He's been a, a a fine member of staff. He's a great guy. I also understand that you know human beings have lives. They have families. They have aspirations. They have different things. So um, it's it's about respecting that. I think. Simon Johnson, Athletic. Hey man. Hi. Um, speaking about Anthony again. Um, there is potential of a semi-final against Bayern Munich, you know, see spots and maybes. But would the would you would you, would the club prefer it if if he does go that it's after that game for obvious reasons? Well, again, it's club to club, so it's not for me. But it, it, obviously, that's something that I'm pretty sure is in the, the conversation. <coughs> yeah, because for obvious reasons. For obvious reasons. Yeah, yeah you wouldn't want a member of your staff with the inside giving the opposition a. You're, a, you're asking the question and you're answering the question. That's very good. Well, so, yes. I wish everybody could do the same. Um, in terms of financial results, they were announced this week. Obviously, the club made made big loss again. Have you had any conversations with the owners about whether that affects your, your summer business? No, not... not Honestly, no, not at, the, not at the moment. I think that's a conversation we'll have in the future. But um, I leave the financial position in the club to the to the club and I get on with my job which is the head coach to try to help the team. Yeah, so you're not sort of you personally not concerned about it at the moment? I've, I've heard nothing to be concerned about now.